Morning, Eva. Your wake-up has been sanctioned by the ISA. We lost contact with the ground crew 450 hours ago. We have tried to establish further communications, but we are not getting any responses. We need you to investigate. Okay, doesn't it make sense to do visual checks first? We have already looked at the data. The ISA has made the executive decision that you report to the surface post haste. You are our emergency response. What exactly is the emergency? The ground crew found an organism the ISA believed to be dangerous. We need to re-establish communication. I can look at cups. Game's already won. Uh, but I can't push it off the table. Sad. We have robot butler friend. I'm assuming this is like cryopod. It looks very cryopod. A little bit small though. Um, can I interact with TV? No. What? Well, good to know we use fans on the ground? We broke into something? Why well, I got so much stuff that looks like it's temporary. Pod malfunction. Cryogenic awakening. 243rd. December. Mm -hmm. That was the 24th. 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 Looks like everyone else has been woken up except this guy who... Possibly died seven years later. 24th. This is going to translate to something in, like, Hexadesk. I... No. No, I'm not Hexadesk translating. No, this isn't school. <laughs> case anything in here there's a keypad Captain McLean pick up your EMT it's on the side okay we are going to take a lander to Europa. Make your way to the docking station. We have our gun, as so many first-person puzzle games give you. Daniel McLean, is he on the pods back here? Nope. Nope. Chris, not Daniel, Sarah. Yeah, looks like we don't have him yet. Nothing on the computer. I mean, technically, yes. Probably shouldn't, though. Uh, adventuring Journal to Ava. The current ship's status is as following. Recommend address the power fluctuations before cryostasis. Power out, 90%. Power peak, 120%. Power noise, 0.5%. Uh, I'm not going to read the rest of the stats. Hey Dan, I'm about to initiate my crustaceous. Just let Tom know if you guys need me. Hopefully, there will be no need to wake me. I guess I'll hear from you as soon as I wake up, which may be a long time for you guys. Best of luck down there, Ava. Ava, hopefully we won't need you, but we will miss you in the land of the living. I'll make sure Tom checks on you regularly. I know he does anyway, but I'd like to think I'm helping. Good night, Dan. To Eva, 
Captain McLean has sent several mails insisting I check the cryo chambers are functioning correctly. They are functioning as expected. Please do not feel any apprehension. Captain McLean has been informed. Thank you, Tom. I'm not worried, Ava. I am initiating my cryostasis in a short while. I imagine a lot will change while I'm asleep. If everything goes well, I should be woken up in ten years. Open up next in ten years. So, to you all, I'd like to wish a good life. Ava. Docking bay. I can open that. Nothing else. What's the ship's status? I have performed the necessary checks. The Europa lander is ready to launch. Okay, I don't have much of a jump. But at least I have a jump. Some games don't even do that. Ah. That is space. Uh, Bay three. I'm going to check the other ones because you said that. That is launched. Storage unit, storage unit. Tom Touch OS. Cannot touch. Check this one. We'll keep it short for these two, just because there probably is nothing here. I hear you. Yep, yeah, doesn't look like anything really interesting. I guess we use this one. Retro? Go. Fido? Go. Guidance? Go. Control? Go. Telcom? Go. Then we are go for launch initiating. Zephyr. Engaging retro fire. I'm running the program 80 degree delta pitch to 88 degrees absolute. Breaking procedure. Trajectory looks good. 502 alarm. It looks like we're coming in too fast. We are slightly short of the landing site. We are going to have to burn late. Go. Full retrograde. decent thrusters for it's such a small vessel. Open the door. Welcome to Europa. bad. Let's see what we can see out here. Okay, invisible wall. I see, game. Alright. Well, closing the doors? Why aren't you closing the doors? This door at least? Oh, <laughs> loading screen. Alright.
Well, I would like to see the puzzles. Well, gun has a right click and a left click. The base has changed. What do you mean? The base was originally constructed as modules to withstand the seismic activity in and around Thera Macula. It appears the ground team have manipulated these modules. The base was built initially by machines. I served as the mind of these operations. I arrived first on Europa in 2240. It costs a lot to send humans into space with the necessary life support, especially such a vast distance from Earth. So, robotics built this place. I wonder why the ground team has changed these rooms. I have a hypothesis. These rooms are Turing tests. Turing tests? Turing tests are tests designed to tell humans and machines apart. Typically, problems only solvable by a human. A combination of logical and lateral thinking. So, you can't complete these tests, Tom? No. That is why I am glad you are here to help. We need to work together. They really have completely repurposed these rooms. I am quite impressed. So, what were they used for before? Most of them were used for storage. But they have converted them beyond recognition. Perhaps they ran out of things to do out here. The devil makes work for idle hands. Uh, so, difference between a Turing machine, or I guess I should say a Turing complete machine, and Turing test. Turing test is just checking if, uh, what's it called? If something seems... Like a the human. Are deeper inside okay, the base, it seems. They must be trying to survive. Can you find their precise location? I'm afraid not. I am working to regain control. Though I once had complete control of this base, a lot has changed in the past 500 hours. That wouldn't be there if I didn't have to do it. Let's see. Uh, and then, what was it? Turing, Turing Complete Machine, I think, was one that could theoretically. I'm going to get this part wrong, and all my comp side professors are going to get sad. Uh, can accomplish so if this any base is managed or by generally you, any task. Why can't you find the crew? The base's communication array is malfunctioning. Perhaps we can't solve this yet. Do I need to fill up all of these? Looks like I can walk back. How far back can I walk? Just up until the airlock suck up. Put this here. Grab the glitchy ball. This doesn't add up. I still can't what? go back to that room. Okay. If there was an accident, surely they'd come to find me, not try to lock me out. My instance is still resolving conflicts. I expect they have their reasons. Oh, this is where it's taking power from? I'm going to assume this needs to be up here. No, I'm going to need to have to grab this through this. Pretty simple. My instance has just been updated. Uh, sorry? I have two instances of my mind. Two separate versions. A slave mind running on the satellite, and a master running here on the surface. When the communication was cut between the surface base and the satellite, the two instances of my mind were separated. So, during all this time, 
all of my knowledge divided into two separate branches. I continue to learn on the satellite and I continue to learn on the service. I am trying to merge the knowledge to create a timeline of what's happened here. But there are incongruities between these methods. Conflicts. Yeah, I believe the most basic train complete machine. And again, Comsci professors are gonna yell at me for this. Uh, I believe was essentially you have a string of uh, infinite ones and zeros, and you have a program to run on the ones and zeros whose only options are to check what it's currently on, this is the move, command center. and something else. You can check on the crew status from here. Press an e-game. Okay. Oh, that's focusing on different things. Okay. Jupiter. Cool. And this one was the moon that we are around. Yep, just neat Jupiter facts, which I assume are fairly real. Tom, start recording. The day is January the 6th, one. Here on Earth. Here we are, members of the human race, standing on Jupiter's moon Europa. I am Captain Daniel McLean. I'm joined here by the rest of my team. It is our intention to make this moon our home and investigate life on this planet. Man's curiosity and appetite for discovery will continue to change our world for the better. Inspiring. And might I add my congratulations to you all. Here it is. Beautiful, isn't it? What makes this one more remarkable than the others? The way it attaches itself to other organisms. Its behavior is very abnormal. It seems to form a symbiotic relationship with most life forms. How do you mean? Do you want me to dumb it down? I know what it means. What does it do? It attaches itself to almost anything living, but it's not parasitic. It's quite alien. We're trying to figure out what effect it has on life forms. Mikhail, you seem distant. Do I? Yes. What's wrong? What's wrong, Mikhail? Mikhail, what's wrong? Are you listening, Mikhail? Are you able to hear? I was talking to the ISA. They don't know what to do with this. The magnitude of the discovery. We should send samples back to Earth. I think we need to get this to a better lab. Me and Sochi are having trouble making enough clones. I'm going to run out of the necessary resources to continue studying Organism 119. You're calling for a grounding of all Europa transports until they get your report. Seriously? Yeah. That's rather drastic. I have no idea why the model's acting weird, but I was just listening to the audio logs. Uh, so, what I remember... Yeah, so Turing machine is generally any machine that can solve problems. And I believe there was something like mathematically defined something or other. A uh, Turing complete machine was uh, one that can theoretically solve any problem, like including the problem of if I implement this problem or if I implement this uh, program, will it halt? And the problem with the solution to if I run this program, will it halt? Is that you can do recursion, which breaks it. So if you say, if I run this program, will it halt on the program that the machine is running? Except reverse the input. So if it halts, it doesn't halt. If it does halt, it doesn't. And that breaks your incompleteness because it goes in an infinite loop of it will halt, but if it will halt, it won't halt. And if it won't halt, it will halt. 
so on and so forth. So Turing completeness cannot physically be created. I think that's I think that's what it was. What condition should I expect to find the ground crew in? Daniel went missing days ago. Chris is presumed dead. We are expecting to find Sarah, Mikhail, and Sochi in a stable condition. Chris is dead? He was involved in an accident. Well, that's not good. And then a Turing test itself is just seeing if a computer can act like a human convincingly enough. Which originally was supposed to be... Can we take a more direct way to the ground team? Unfortunately, there is not a direct route. The base is buried under ice to protect it from the radiation of space. Similar to the Mars base. Similar. Europa's base is slightly deeper into the surface. There is more radiation present from solar events on Mars. But Mars's surface is denser than that of Europa. Yeah, so then the Turing test is one that's meant to test whether or not the person is a robot or a human. And if you can't tell whether or not it's a robot or a human, then uh, it succeeds the Turing test if it's a robot. If it's a human, then it's just failed as a human being. Um, okay. Gotcha. Put this under magnet. Um, and the first way that you were supposed to do that is have a conversation with a... Well, the thir first theorized way of doing it, I should say, uh, is have a conversation behind like a cloth where you're just typing back and forth to each other. Uh, and like randomly test between humans and... Uh, this is going to need to be over there. Randomly test between humans and machines until uh, everyone who talks to the machines and humans can get it right for which one's which. The problem with it is it is really hard to tell even on like a basic chat machine bot that has re like is actually okay, decently what made. What are their chances of survival mm -hmm. here? Oxygen, the food stores, waste management. Everything seems to be in order. There was a small problem with the food stores, but the crew fixed that up. We successfully transitioned over to a sustainable, small, artificial ecosystem a year ago. Growing fruit and vegetables. It helps boost morale, amongst other things. The crew members could hypothetically survive here for their whole lifetimes. Um, it's really hard to tell between uh, what is actually a human and not, even as just a human. Um, And so it kind of failed at producing reliable results. So people try to keep coming up with other ways and more ways and yada, yada, yada. A lot of them don't really work out, but yeah. Oh, almost forgot. Need you to move. There. Um, personally, I have a strong feeling that humans are just, right, leave that there, uh, humans are just literally biological machines. It's just that the software is something that we don't really understand, uh, down to the point that... My purpose oh. as the overseer of this mission is to work for the ISA. I am the ISA's feet and hands. The distance between Jupiter and Earth make it inappropriate for the ISA to directly interface with the mission directives. As my AI core is stationed on Europa, I can make decisions instantaneously about the running of the base. But yeah, um... And humans are just... Machines that are uh, biological in nature, meaning that it's going to remain incredibly difficult to tell the difference. Grab you, put you up there.
Exactly. And the tests will continue to have more failure points. There's not much we can do about that. Can I collect both of you? I can. Oh. I'm like, I'm going to be sneaky, bring it into the next puzzle. How does the ISA know you're going to make the right decisions here when they can't communicate with us? Interestingly, I have a twin on Earth. His name is Michael. The ISA uses my twin to check firmware updates before they upload them to myself. There is a simulation of this mission on Earth, running at all times to check my expert systems. Naturally, as any modern artificial intelligence running on a quantum computer, I do also have a large amount of evolutionary algorithms at my disposal. However, they were deemed as too unreliable for general use in the mission. Why is that? Biological systems produce biological results. Messy, unpredictable solutions. Not suitable for such a mission. Right, I need to get the Orby thing. There we go. Uh, now swap you. Grab the orb. Grab you. Put the orb here so that we can grab it from up top. You can go here because there's absolutely no way we get you from outside. And now we've got two power for the upstairs. Hello there, brother. There we go. And we've got another ball. Uh, oh, right, out there. At a full second of, but where am I supposed to go? Well, now's the perfect time to test. Does this blow up? No, it just disappears. Another side room. Oh, if I move, that activates. <laughs> I swear to God, if this is the way you're supposed to do this. Yeah, mom sent me the message, and uh, she also said, like, don't tell dad. He doesn't know yet, and I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, like, this is an old Turing test. One person talks, the other one responds. Oh, it's forcing me. No matter what I press. If I hit escape, this is what I'm doing now because it won't let me type anymore. Oh. <laughs> but I'm cat. Oh, you won't even let me take the ball. 